Kuala Lumpur International Airport KLIA Malay Lepangan Terbang Antarabangsa Kuala Lumpur IATA KUL ICAO WMKK is Malaysia's main international airport and one of the major airports in Southeast Asia and worldwide It is located in Sepang district of Selangor approximately 45 kilometers 28 miles south of Kuala Lumpur city center and serves the Greater Klang Valley conurbation KLIA is the largest and busiest airport in Malaysia. In 2017, it handled 58,554,627 passengers and 710,186 tons of cargo. It is the world's 23rd busiest airport by total passenger traffic. The airport is operated by Malaysia Airports MAHB Seping SDNBHD and is the major hub of Malaysia Airlines, Mascargo, AirAsia, AirAsia X, Melindo Air, Flyglobal, UPS Airlines and AsiaCargo Express. History Background The groundbreaking ceremony for Kuala Lumpur International Airport KLIA took place on 1 June 1993 when the government under Mahathir Mohamad decided that the existing Kuala Lumpur Airport, then known as Subang International Airport now Sultan Abdul Aziz Shah Airport could not handle future demand. The construction of the airport was done mainly by a few state-owned construction companies as well as Ekavest Burhad, helmed by Tan Sri Datuk Lim Kong Hu. It was created as part of the Multimedia Super Corridor, a grand development plan for Malaysia. The chief architect who designed the new airport terminal was the Japanese architect Kisho Kurakawa. Upon KLIA's completion, Subang Airport's Terminal 1 building was demolished. Malaysia Airports agreed to redevelop the remaining Terminal 3 to create a specialist airport for turboprop and charter planes surrounded by a residential area and a business park. The IATA Airport Code KUL was transferred from Subang Airport, which currently handles only turboprop aircraft, general aviation and military aircraft. Subang Airport's IATA code has since been changed to SZB. Current site The airport's site spans 100 square kilometres 39 square miles 2, of former agricultural land and is one of the world's largest airport sites. An ambitious three-phase development plan anticipates KLIA to have three runways and two terminals each with two satellite terminals. Phase 1 involved the construction of the main terminal and one satellite terminal, giving a capacity of 25 million passengers, and two full-service runways. The Phase 1 airport had 60 contact piers, 20 remote parking bays with 80 aircraft parking positions, four maintenance hangars and fire stations. Phase 2, designed to increase capacity to 35 million passengers per year is largely complete. Phase 3 is anticipated to increase capacity to 100 million passengers per year. <inaudible> Grand opening Kuala Lumpur International Airport was officially inaugurated by the 10th Yang Di Pertuan Agong, Tuanku Jafar of Negri Sembilan, on 27 June 1998 at 2030 Mountain Standard Time, a week ahead of Hong Kong International Airport and in time for the 1998 Commonwealth Games. The first domestic arrival was Malaysia Airlines Flight MH1263 from Kuantan, Kuantan Airport at 7.10 Mountain Standard Time. The first international arrival was Malaysia Airlines Flight MH188 from Malay International Airport at 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. The first domestic departure was Malaysia Airlines Flight MH1432 to Langkawi, Langkawi International Airport at 7.20 Mountain Standard Time. The first international departure was Malaysia Airlines Flight MH84 to Beijing, Beijing Capital International Airport at 9 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Inauguration The inauguration of the airport was marked with problems. Aerobridge and bay allocation systems broke down, queues built up throughout the airport and baggage handling broke down. 
Bags were lost and there were waits of over five hours. Most of these issues were remedied eventually, though baggage handling system was plagued with problems until it was put up for a complete replacement tender in 2007. The airport suffered greatly reduced traffic with the general reduction in economic activity brought about by the East Asian financial crisis, SARS, bird flu epidemic, avian flu, the global financial crisis, and the swine flu pandemic. 1998 saw a reduction of passenger numbers as some airlines, including all Nippon Airways recommencing on 1 September 2015, British Airways resumed on 28 May 2015, Lufthansa later reinstated, and Northwest Airlines, terminated their loss-making services to KLIA. KLIA's first full year of operations in 1999, in its Phase 1 manifestation capacity of 25 million passengers per year, saw only 13.2 million passengers. Passenger numbers eventually increased to 21.1 million in 2004 and 47 million in 2013, though short of the originally estimated 25 million passengers per year by 2003. Recent events On 13 February 2017, Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, was assassinated with the nerve agent VX while walking at Kuala Lumpur International Airport 2 Two women, who were alleged to have grabbed him to deploy the nerve agent, were arrested. Kim was traveling under a pseudonym. Runways Kuala Lumpur International Airport has three parallel runways 14L, 32R, 14R, 32L, 1533rds Runway 1533rds used to be part of SZB Airport, a first in the region. The aircraft movements on these runways are monitored by two air traffic control ATC towers, Tower East, and Tower West given the span of the airport. ATC Tower West standing at 133.8 meters, is currently the tallest ATC tower in the world. The current three-runway system is capable of handling 78 landings per hour and is expected to increase to 108 landings per hour once upgrading of the Kuala Lumpur Flight Information Region is completed in 2019. These runways operate on different departure, arrival modes according to the air traffic requirements. Topic. Operations and infrastructure KLIA features a number of modern design features that assist in the efficient operation of the airport. It is one of the first Asia-Pacific airports to become 100% bar-coded boarding pass capable. Malaysia Airlines, AirAsia, Mascargo, a cargo airline, and Malaysia Airports, the Malaysian airport's operator and manager, are headquartered on the property of KLIA. Malaysia Airlines also operates its flight management building at KLIA. Topic: Terminals. The airport is part of the KLIA Aeropolis and is made up of two main terminals: the original main terminal building and the new Terminal 2, or also known as KLIA 2. The airport's main terminal building is designed by Japanese architect Kisho Kurakawa, with an emphasis of natural lighting within the airport complex. Spanning 38.4 meters along a grid pattern allowing for future expansions, the abstract symbolic architecture by the late Kisho Kurakawa encompasses the Islamic geometry and cutting-edge technology with the tropical rainforest in mind. Main terminal building The KLIA Main Terminal Building MTB is located in between the two runways. The floor area of the terminal covers 390,000 square meters 4,200,000 square feet and the building consists of 39 square roof units, which enables future expansion of the building. There are a total of 216 check-in counters, located in six different islands, identified by the letters A, M, excluding I. Multi-check-in services are available, designed for the use of all passengers arriving, departing or in transit. Self-check-in facilities are available in this airport since 2007, and KLM was the first airline to use the common-use self-service kiosks. 
The contact pier is an extension of the main terminal building with gates marked with prefix A and B for domestic departures, G and H for international flights. The gate allocation is based on operational requirements, although it has been observed that Malaysia Airlines has been operating most of its operations out from the contact pier. Topic satellite Terminal A The 176,000 square meters 1 square feet satellite building accommodates international flights departing and arriving at KLIA. Passengers have to travel to the satellite building via the Aerotrain. There is a wide array of duty-free shops and prestige brand boutiques in the satellite building. This includes international brands such as Burberry, Harrods, Mont Blanc, Salvatore Ferragamo. Among all international labels available within the terminal, some boutiques such as Harrods are only available in the airport. A number of restaurants and international airlines lounges are available as well as an airside transit hotel. Within the terminal, wireless internet Wi-Fi is provided free of charge. The terminal also has prayer rooms, showers and massage service. Various lounge areas are provided, some including children's play areas and movie lounge, broadcasting movie and sport channels. The terminal also features a natural rainforest in the middle of the terminal, exhibiting the Malaysian rainforests. Under Malaysia Airport's Burhad Retail Optimization Plan, the retail space in Satellite Terminal A will be further optimized to increase its revenue derived from commercial space rental and a percentage of sale receipts to 50% by year 2010 which currently stands at 35%. Some notable improvements that will be seen after the refurbishments will be the Jungle Boardwalk which will be the first of its kind in the world and larger mezzanine floor to accommodate F&B outlets and viewing galleries. The gates in Satellite Terminal A have the prefix C. The Satellite A Terminal has 27 boarding gates altogether. Topic KLIA 2 Terminal 2 Built at approximately RM4 billion, it is the largest purpose-built terminal optimized for low-cost carriers in response to the exponential growth of low-cost travel in the region. It was built to replace the previous low-cost carrier terminal LCCT. KLIA-2 started its operations on 2 May 2014 and all flight operations at LCCT were moved to KLIA-2 by 9 May 2014. As part of its development, a third runway, runway and a new air traffic control tower, tower West, were built to support its operation. KLIA-2 has an initial capacity of 45 million passengers per year. The terminal has a built-up area of 257,845 sqm with 68 departure gates, 10 remote stands, 80 aerobridges, includes a retail space of 35,000 sqm to accommodate a total of 220 retail outlets. The main terminal building of KLIA-2 is connected with its satellite piers with a skybridge, making it the first airport in Asia with such facility. KLIA-2 is certified with Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design lead. Check-in counters are divided into eight rows located in four islands, each row identified by the letters S, Z boarding gates are located in five piers, indicated by the letters J and K for domestic flights, and L, P and Q for international flights. Piers J, K and L are connected directly to the main terminal building, while piers P and Q are accessible via the skybridge. Piers K and L are physically the same pier and share the same gates, but with waiting lounges on different levels level 1A for K and level 2 for L. For international flights, the access door from Pier K is sealed off, while for domestic flights, the access door from Pier L is sealed off instead. At present, inter-terminal connection is provided on the landside at Gateway at Clea 2 complex and there are provisions for future airside inter-terminal connection. Gateway at Clea 2 Gateway at Clea 2 is an integrated shopping complex that is connected to the main KLIA 2 terminal building. It has a 350,000 square feet of net lettable space spanning over four levels. The transport hub at Gateway at Clea 2 links KLIA 2 to the KLIA Express and KLIA Transit service, with allotted pickup and drop off areas for coaches, taxis, rented vehicles, and private transportation. Gateway at Clea 2 hosts an eight story car park that directly adjoins KLIA 2. 
There are 6,000 covered parking lots at Blocks A and B and another 5,500 lots at Car Park D. Shuttle buses are available to take the public from the Car Park D to the terminal. The first capsule transit hotel in Asia named as the Capsule by Container Hotel is also located at Gateway at Clea 2. Gateway at Clea 2 is managed by WCT Holdings Burhad. KL City Air Terminal KL City Air Terminal, sometimes known as Kuala Lumpur City Air Terminal or KL CAT located at KL Central is a virtual extension of KL International Airport where city check-in services are provided. KL City Air Terminal is recognized by International Air Transport Association which carries IATA designation XKL. Currently there are only three airlines providing city check-in services, they are Cathay Pacific, Malaysia Airlines and Malindo Air. However, the situation is due to be changed as 10 CETAs Airport Connect Cute common use terminal equipment were installed on 10 check-in desks in KL CAT that enables all airlines to offer city check-in service for their passengers. Former low-cost carrier terminal LCCT. The now defunct 36,000 square meters (390,000 square feet) low-cost carrier terminal (LCCT) was opened at Kuala Lumpur International Airport on the 23rd of March 2006 to cater for the growing number of users of low-cost airlines, especially the passengers of Malaysia's No Frills airline, AirAsia. The terminal was designed and built in accordance to the low-cost carrier business model, with limited terminal amenities. As requested by the low-cost airline, the terminal does not provide aerobridges, nor are there transfer facilities, rail connections, and other facilities provided in a full-fledged terminal. LCCT is located within the air support zone, and has since ceased operations on 9 May 2014 and all low-cost carrier flights are now operating out of KLIA-2. Topic: Airlines and destinations. Topic: Passenger. Topic: Cargo. Topic: Statistics. Topic Ground Transportation Topic Inter Terminal Transportation The Aerotrain is an automated people mover APM that connects the airside of KLIA Main Terminal Building MTB and the satellite building. Each 250-person capacity train can transport 3,000 passengers per hour in each direction at up to 56 km per hour, 35 miles per hour. These three car driverless trains run on elevated rail and under the taxiways. The journey takes under two minutes. The Aerotrain operates between three and five minute intervals between terminal. Automatic train controls manage the operation of the entire aerotrain system, controlling the speeds, headways, stops and door openings in stations, and integrating functions that enhance the reliability and performance of the system. KLIA Transit and KLIA Express provides landside connections between KLIA 2 and KLIA Main Terminal Building MTB, and vice versa. This inter-terminal journey takes three minutes to connect both terminals before proceeding onwards to KL Central. External connections Rail Kuala Lumpur International Airport is linked to the KL Central Transportation Hub in the city centre by the 57 km long express rail link Earl. There are two Earl stations at the airport, KLIA station at the main terminal building and KLIA 2 station at Gateway at Clea 2. The airport is served by two rail services on the Earl. 
KLIA Express, the dedicated airport rail link which runs non-stop between KL Central and KLIA. The journey takes 28 minutes to, from KLIA, and 33 minutes to, from KLIA 2 with a two-minute stop at KLIA. The KLIA Express Terminal at KL Central is known as the KL City Air Terminal KL -CAT, which has an IATA designation XKL. KL CAT offers in-town flight check-in service up to two hours before flight departure time for passengers traveling on Cathay Pacific, Emirates, Etihad Airways, Malaysia Airlines, Malindo Air and Royal Brunei Airlines. KLIA Transit, a commuter rail service which stops at three additional stops Bundar Tasik Selatan, Putrajaya, Cyberjaya and Salak Tinggi between KL Central and KLIA. The journey takes 35 minutes to, from KLIA and 39 minutes to, from KLIA 2. Check-in facilities are only through automated kiosks at KLIA transit stations. Taxis and limousine Airport taxis or airport limousines are provided by Airport Limo. The taxis and limousines are readily available at the taxi and limousine counters. They run from airport itself to destinations in Klang Valley and Greater Klang Valley. The fares are to be paid at the counter and are charged according to the destination's zone. A surcharge is applied for services between 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. <laughs> Bus Both public and private buses connect KLIA and KLIA 2 to several points in Kuala Lumpur and beyond. <laughs> Expansion and developments Plans <laughs> 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 With the slight modification of the master plan, the future Terminal 2 satellite terminal will be combined into one satellite terminal. The expansion of Terminal 2 satellite terminal will be exactly the same as Terminal 1's the current main terminal satellite terminal, where initially the satellite terminal will have four arms, and another four arms when the terminal reached its capacity. There is sufficient land and capacity to develop facilities to handle up to 97.5 million passengers a year, four runways by the year 2020 and two mega-terminals, each linked with satellite terminals. A380 upgrades The operator of Kuala Lumpur International Airport, Malaysia Airports Holding Burhad, had spent about RM 135 million approximately to upgrade facilities at the KL International Airport KLIA in Sepang to accommodate the Airbus A380. Upgrading works started on 3 April 2006, and was completed by 28 May 2007. Works include the provision of shoulders on both sides of the two existing runways of 15 meters as well as the taxiways, building additional aerobridges at the three departure halls, namely C-17, C-27 and C-37, and enhancing the mezzanine lounges for upper deck passengers of the aircraft at the departure halls. Emirates operates flights to Kuala Lumpur with the Airbus A380 commenced on 1 January 2012. Malaysia Airlines also started its A380 services from Kuala Lumpur to London on 1 July 2012. 